guys so i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you how i got glammed up for my senior portraits in under 10 minutes without flashback so uh, let's get right into it okay so my face is really dry so i like to prep it first things first i'm going to put this hydrating primer mist by heart candy shake it a little bit need to let this dry oh my god i'm about to sneeze next i'm going to be using this hangover rx by Too faced okay so once you let that dry and get all set you're gonna go in with the honey do me up by nyx and i put it everywhere i put it on my eyelids i put it everywhere don't forget to leave your eyelids out. And the reason why I said don't leave your eyelids out because you're gonna be putting foundation on your eyelids because if you're a different shade, if you use a different foundation shade than your actual skin color, like a tanner shade, and you miss your eyelids, it's just gonna look patchy. You have a different color eyelid, different color skin. And you wanna make sure to use a sticky primer because when you have acne, the concealer will stick better or if you have dry skin or oily skin it doesn't matter sticky cameras are good so i take this damp beauty blender and i take my tooth my born Too faced born this way foundation and this is a um, medium to full coverage and it's oil free but i put one pump like this and then i just take it and i put little splotches like that all over because I don't put a lot of foundation on I, can, I just kind of like eyeball it and then I just kind of do that I don't apply more foundation after this I leave it like that so I'm gonna blend this out and I'll be right back okay so I blended it out and as you can see I put it on my eyelids too and you want to make sure you blow to your neck. I think that's the same shade. But <laughs> you blend to your neck and make sure you get your hair. You just take your blender and keep blending it and keep blending it until you see that it's blended all the way. Everywhere. When you get your foundation to look like this, um, I take um, this concealer by LA Girl. You take your concealer and to apply it here like a wing, not a lot though. And then I apply it here. And I kind of do like a little wing kind of thing. So like that. I don't put it on my nose because I don't like nose contour. My nose is really small already, so I take the pointy side and I just blend it out I blend it towards the like towards the middle I don't go that way I just go one direction when I'm blending this and now I'm gonna do the same thing off camera to, to the side okay so sorry for the interruption if you hear background noise don't mind it whatever I just put I blended it and now I just put on my pimples okay once I do that, this is what my base looks like. You take a bronzer. Um, I'm trying to keep it really simple and this is probably gonna be longer than 10 minutes, but I think it's under 10 minutes and I did it really quick. I just put the foundation on, put the concealer, blend it. Then I took this butter bronzer. I used the shade deep bronzer. I take the, the brush, dab off the excess, and I literally just... Remember, bronzer is to bronze up your face. Con um, contour is to add shadows. So you, when, when you contour, you wanna use cooler tones because you're adding shadows to your face. 
So I just added light contour like this, light bronzer, to bronze up my face because I kind of look pale right now. So I just added some bronzer. And mind you, this makeup kind of went away. So I didn't put a setting spray. I forgot to put setting spray, but make sure to put a setting spray when you're doing a one hour shoot or something like that because it did not stay. And because I had to wear a mask, a lot of this portion went away. But my senior pictures looked really good for doing this like literally under like 10 minutes. But as you can see the different difference. So this side has bronzer, this side doesn't. And for my face, I like to do, when you look at your face and you see shadows like that. See, shadow right here, this shadow right here. That's where you wanna put your contour at or your bronzer. For powder, you want to avoid powders that have, um, I don't think this one has it. I think it actually does. Talc. If it has talc, it's gonna leave flashback, but this is the only powder I have, and it was last minute. I got up really late. So you want to avoid powders that have talc. But for me, I don't avoid that, because I, like I said, so avoid stuff that has talc. Okay, so I take powder, wipe it off the edge. I take this much. Then I put it on wherever um, I put the concealer only, like nowhere else. I didn't even put under the, the line. I just kind of pat a light amount under my eye and wherever I put the concealer. And I don't let it sit there for longer than a minute. If you have extra on your sponge, you can go ahead under the under the contour a little bit. See, so I have a little extra. I'm just kind of dab it underneath, and then immediately right after, I take my powder brush and I brush it away, like quick. You don't want to leave it on really long. Just did that, dust everything off. You don't want to leave it on there for too long now. Because then if you do leave it on for too long, I'll give you flashback, so. And another tip I have to melt your powder. So make sure to have a damp sponge all the time. So this is to melt everything. So I take the side and I just start going like this and melting the powder and this is pretty much my face this is what it looks like um i keep it really minimal and look at my eyebrows i did my eyebrows lip gloss and eyelashes in the car i'm going to put on my eyelashes and do my eyebrows and lip gloss off camera so i can show you the final product with everything done i use the anastasia Beverly hills and the shade shade is this dark brown and then i i broke the, the spoolie on it so i used the nyx brow pencil spoolie but this is what i look like i'll be back with my eyelashes and my hair done okay so this is the finished product this is what my makeup looks like um i did a little false falsies action going on here and i used the kiss his natural lashes and 11 it comes with this whole pack and it was only five dollars good deal but i'll put everything i used in the description below if you want to purchase anything i used my clear lip gloss in the shade athena which is clear so it can look as natural as possible leave a like comment share and subscribe and make sure to comment down below any new video suggestions and yeah this is my makeup look. I hope you, you take some advice from it or pull information from it to make your perfect senior portrait. That's it for the video. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.